Our car has died directly under an aerial battle. The engine managed to get us this far, but it's been destroyed by machine gun fire. This pilot is from Ludmilla's homeland. She asks the crashed pilot about a name, asking if he has any information. But the pilot takes a turn for the worse. Just before all this, he seemed to be mumbling a name. Garuda. He's the one that shot me down. Exactly what she's going through, why she's overcome with such emotion. My husband could have very well ended up like this. And now I know. The one she loves is a pilot as well. As we save a man's life on this wide open plain, we both begin to realize what we share, how much we have in common. Stringing two to Igion. Patrol operation complete. Requesting permission to land. Lieutenant Colonel. This man was once a pupil of mine. Many years have passed since then, but Lieutenant Commander Pasternak still has that same spark of confidence in his eyes he had as a young man. Glad to see you are looking well. He was brought here to help you us too. turn the war in our favor. Now that he has been promoted to captain of the Strigan team, he is sure to be a thorn in the side of the American military. Don't leave your baggage. It may be uncomfortable, but keep it hidden behind your back. Huh? Trust me, it is how things are done here. I asked him if he knew Garuda won. Know him? <laughs> My sole reason of being sent here was to fight him. He smiled to hide the rage within him. That should have been my passion, my fire. But things have changed. This man is about to step into the world I once knew. My days in the sky are behind me now. The bitter taste of loneliness is all I have left.
This is my girl. No matter how bad things may look down here, we will not be defeated with me and this baby. I also like our chances with the new captain in charge. He feels more like an older brother than some pushy authority figure. Tosha, give me one of those apples you have there. Then go have a dance with the angels, will ya? Tosha, come now, Tosha. You better learn more control than that if you want to impress your sweetheart. Terrible, I tell ya. At least I have a sweetheart to speak of, sir. I could have any woman I want if I made the effort. <laughs> I can't argue with him there. If he was serious enough, and I was a woman, I would probably fall for him myself. Even though we have overtaken the city, he tends to listen to Ameria Independence Radio, an ongoing pirate broadcast. Listen, they're talking about the Golden King again. It's as if they're mourning the loss of a flesh and blood king. It'd really be something if they got it back somehow. It makes you wonder. My older brother seems to have a soft spot for the poor and downtrodden in this city. There's no way in hell we are going to lose this war. With the smile of their golden king wiped away for good, and the ground war nearly upon us, the citizens here are losing faith. Through special intelligence, we confirmed the existence of the enemy ace pilot, Garuda One. It seems he has fallen into some kind of predicament within his own ranks. His fiercest rival, Lieutenant Commander Pasternak, is naturally worried about the possibility of Garuda One losing his position. After lecturing Pasternak to hold on to his baggage, I feel like a damned hypocrite. Undergarments and trousers can be replaced, but I cannot afford to lose the contents of that briefcase. seen the notification. Today, in this very area, the initial demolition for the Grace Maria fortification construction is to be carried out. The tremors have triggered an ancient trap door, unused for some 600 years. And now, we have lost our way out of here. Huddled together in this cramped room, there is no way out for any of us. One boy is called Radio, 
aptly named, considering he never parts with his own. He's spouting off code words used by the Amerian fighter pilots as he takes on the role of a jet himself. Hey, kid! This child's family owned and operated a well-known restaurant in the city. His father was a talented chef, and his mother a humble young waitress. They were both killed, their restaurant destroyed, all because of our aerial assaults. She proudly sings a song that was sung by her nation's pilots. I had this image in my mind of street children being a symbol of strife and despair brought on by the horrors of war. Now that I've had a closer look, I'm beginning to see something quite different. These children are lonely, but full of pride for their nation's pilots, always with them in spirit. Even with my crippled leg, I feel as though I could dance the night away with an angel. These children were hiding their treasure, their golden king, protecting it at all costs, keeping it safe from us, the invaders. As we walked the long road, Ludmilla and I came across an unusual tank. I seem to remember this man from somewhere. What is his tank doing out here, away from all the action? I thought the front lines were a bit more to the west. Why don't you ladies go on ahead? <clears throat> We've got to figure out some way to sneak this hunk of metal into town. All right, then. Good luck. Bank job, boys. See ya. Best get out of here. And have a nice dance with the angels now. My family's inside joke has become quite the buzzword. Even the captain uses it to say goodbye. But it feels strange to hear others say it. We're almost there. And then I saw something horrible. Grace Maria, or what's left of it, was transformed into a heavily armed fortress. The Estovakian military intends to fight to the bitter end. She stares up at them, holding on to some sort of premonition. I opened the briefcase that the children kindly returned to me. This mandate has been sealed for so long, but the time has come to break that seal. Forgive me, Ludmilla. I failed to bring you happiness. Strigan 12, bearing 250. All instruments check out. Let us begin. Carefully. K-12 
change your courses to 9-0 and leave the battle zone. Avoid engagement and fly as far as your fuel allows. I will handle the Garuda team. What? You can't be serious! Your deaths will achieve nothing. You must live to ensure the future of our nation. Besides, half the female population is waiting for your return. But wait! I will not allow this! Wait! I am shutting down communications. Strigan team, break formation! <laughs> 